If you don't sleep in the same bed, we're less. How does it hurt? It definitely hurts. If you don't sleep in the same bed. What's wrong with that? Oh. What does it matter? Are we enemies now? All right, so we get back from the beach volleyball. And I think we have a good time, but now my wife wants to sleep in a separate room. Can you explain why? I do. So we had a conversation about decision day and what our decision day answers would potentially be, which as it stands, I would say it's a no for both of us. And because of that, I'm just like, eh, if decision day is going to be a no, why are you even sleeping in the same bedroom? Why are we switching up anything? Then why are we talking about it if it's not today? Why were you asking me what if decision day was today? If decision day was today, what's today? And you said your answer. I said my answer, and they were like, "Oh, okay." Like, I feel like every so... day, every day, you switch up like how you feel. So and I say, like... "I don't know." And what's wrong with that? No, I don't no. have to jump to the conclusion. I don't have to forecast. I can literally, I literally allow myself the opportunity to change my mind every day, especially in this situation. Right. I understand that, but I don't understand why should we sleep. We should sleep in separate rooms right now. I don't get that. Doesn't help anything. That only hurts. I don't see why not. How does it hurt? Tell me how it hurts. Because like it, it's been going great for us, so like why like why are we switching? Why are we switching? Right now? If it's been going great, why do we both say the decision day will be enough? Because we're not there yet. But it's like you do you not and see it's like not going great. yo do you not see an upward trend? Like what the. I'm literally saying, I don't know now. Like, I told the people, the, the guys say, I said, you I don't literally, know. literally, today, you said no. You told the guys no, you don't know. No, Michelle. And that's fine. You can tell them whatever the f you want. But you told me no. We both said we today. would say no. We, we both said we would say no. Correct? And I but said, I don't know. Because I don't want to. Oh, my. What? Right, when you right, asked right, me, right, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, OK, so Zach went to, in his, his diary can, which is fine. But we actually had a conversation. We sat right there at that table. And when asked, when pressed about what my answer would be, I said, I don't know. Today, like, what is your answer going to be? Wait, and wait, I said, I, happened, no, 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 no. I said, I don't know. Wait, that wait, is genuinely wait, my wait. answer. We both said if we we're talking about day. today, we both said we, we said we on decision day, if today was decision day, we would say no. Okay. Decision day, I don't know. So I just asked Zach if he, we were good. And he literally is ignoring me. Like, he will not talk to me now. Michaela doesn't want to sleep in the same bed anymore, so I'm just going to go home tonight. I don't really want to be here, and I don't think I should have to be here. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Um, yesterday, it was a good day, right? It has been for the last two weeks. You know, there have been ups and downs, but it seemed like we've been on the same page. And so one thing we talked about was, if decision day were today, what will we say? And we both said we would say no. So we get back to the apartment, and she's like, well, you know, I want to sleep in separate beds. And I'm like, OK, fine, whatever. Um, if we're sleeping in separate beds, like, then I want to go back to my place tonight to sleep, because I want to sleep in a nice bed. And she said she didn't care if I went to my place to spend the night. I was never but saying. She she was lying. Yeah, wait. Right, he, he, right, but here, here's my thing. Then say that. If you don't want me to go, then say that. So she texts me literally an hour later. Hey, since you've left the apartment, which is not what I wanted at all, when requesting separate beds, I'm going to go ahead and move out fully tomorrow morning. So she texts me that, and I read it, and I literally like, I like, there's no way. Like you, as hard as you can, for as long as you can, and it seems like she's not going. She's not go She's not meeting you halfway. Look, so and, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, look, I'm. I know I'm not perfect. I know I could be doing things better, man. But I, I, no matter what people say, I know I've been trying. Like, I have never put this much effort into something ever in my life. This is literally insanity for me. And it's like, I can only get mad at myself. I'm not even mad at Michaela. I'm just like mad at me. But I, I've been. Um, I, I appreciate you guys taking time to talk to me, man. If Michaela reaches out, let me know. I doubt she will. But anyway, thank you guys. I love you. Hunt, get, right. get better. Tyler, keep killing it in school. And I will talk to you guys later, OK? Later. All right, All right bye. bye. Love you. Bye. bye. Shadows in the dark, tearing me apart. Some kind of assassin trying to pull a fast one. How did it get this far?